Kim Ji Kwan does not come back here very often. It is a jail on the outskirts of Seoul where the 33-year-old spent just over a year locked up. His crime, refusing to serve in South Korea's military. I became a conscientious objector because I learned from the Bible that you have to love your neighbor and your enemy. We should love life. Kim's father and two brothers all spent time in jail. As Jehovah's Witnesses, they say learning to use weapons or fight goes against their religious convictions. Kim says he would have been open to other types of service. If there were an alternative service, one that does not go against my beliefs, then I would have done that, a service that does not require actual military training. According to government figures, each year hundreds of South Korean men are sentenced to up to 18 months in prison for refusing their military service. The London-based advocacy group War Resisters International keeps track of conscientious objectors worldwide. VOA spoke to WRI's Sergey Sandler over Skype. According to the data we have right now, uh, the largest number of imprisoned conscientious objectors, not necessarily the number of objectors themselves, but of imprisoned conscientious objectors, uh, is currently in South Korea. The way conscientious objectors are treated is, of course, you know, is of course, substandard in, in all, you know, human rights senses. South Korea's Ministry of National Defense says there are no plans to change its conscription policy. The ministry declined an interview request, but has pointed to security concerns with North Korea as justification for maintaining the status quo. Lee Jae Song, a law professor at Gongguk University in Seoul, says public opinion no longer supports the government's policies. The South Korean government has always stressed security and has said that an alternative to military service would harm our safety. But the public no longer believes that. Only the government is holding on to that idea. Lee points out that a recent Gallup poll indicates 68 percent of respondents say they are in favor of creating such an alternative service so that conscientious objectors will not have to go to jail. Conscientious objector Kim Ji Kwan says he and the other men in his family did the right thing by going to prison for their beliefs. But he says if he one day has a son, he would not expect him to carry on the tradition. Kim says refusing to serve is a personal decision based on one's own faith. Jason Struther for VOA News, Seoul.